Hey cute people, just be plain in makeup. And as you can see, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1. I also picked up the second one. When these palettes first came out, I didn't have any interest in buying it. But Rite Aid recently, a couple of weeks ago, had a great sale. So I decided, why not? This isn't a review on the product, but I will say the palette is really, really pretty. I'm glad that I got it. I haven't used the second one yet, but this one here has a lot of fall out. And some of the colors are really chalky. But I like it overall because it's great for, of course, nude looks, natural looking looks. And it's to me like an everyday palette because of the color selection. I wish my camera was a whole lot better so you can actually see the colors a lot better. But it is a pretty palette. So if you get a chance, even if you don't want to buy it, just take a look when you go into your local drugstore, Walmart, Target. Just take a look at the palette. But this particular video, like I mentioned, is not a product review. And although I'm putting on makeup, it's not a tutorial, which I don't do tutorials. I just put on makeup and put the camera in front of my face and just show you guys what I'm doing. But this video here is going to be a lot different. I am going to be talking, but not pretty much about my makeup application. But I do want to start by saying that today, putting on makeup was very hard for me. I don't know if all you guys know, but I'm over 50. And I should be wearing prescription glasses, but I do not. I have readers that I wear. I'm sure you guys are all aware of that. And you know when you get older, your eyesight changes, of course. And my eyesight, of course, I can't see things that are near to me. I can see things that are far away. But if it's close, I really have a hard time. So putting on this makeup today, I just kept it simple, very basic. And I did pretty much a lot of it by feel. Because I really couldn't see your clothes. I just had to share that with you guys. But I have to get to the eye doctor soon because not only do I want to make sure the makeup I put on my face is done correctly, I want to be able to see. And the readers helped me with that. But of course, prescription glasses would be much better. And contacts would be much better because then I'll be able to see and apply my makeup like I want. Yes, I really, really like a winged liner, a winged eye, but mm, I don't mess with that too much because I can get it right sometimes and then sometimes it'll be wrong. So I'll get myself to the doctor that way. My makeup application won't look silly. But anyway, no matter what, I'm not going to stop playing in makeup and having fun with colors and such, but... When I go out, I just keep it simple just to make sure that I have everything correct. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll say correct. That's the word I use for today. But no matter what, I had fun anyway. And I really, really just wanted to keep the look for myself really basic for today. And as you can see that it is. But I really wanted to apply a bright lip because it's spring summer so bright lips pretty pinks pastel colors are in and i'm definitely going to be wearing them as much as i can another thing about myself with applying makeup because i call myself makeup lazy yeah i'm hair lazy makeup lazy all that and like I said, when it comes to my hair, I want to do the least amount to it to have the best results. And the same with makeup. I don't want to be sitting in front of a mirror too long to do a whole lot. So while you watch this video, you'll probably notice there's a lot of steps I'm going to be skipping because I don't know if you're like me or in my age group. And like I mentioned, you still want to look cute, but I mean... Who has time to be contouring and applying um, a highlighter or some setting? And oh my goodness, I just don't have the patience for it. I've always worn makeup. Well, I should say I've always worn lipstick, eyeliner, mascara, and shadow. Yeah. I've always wanted to wear 
foundation when I was younger, but I used to sweat some. I stayed away from it, but I don't know if it has to do with age. I don't sweat as much now, so I wear some foundation. But mainly when it's warm, I wear BB cream because I think your makeup looks really nice when your face is an even tone. You can have pretty flawless skin, but if it's an even tone, I think your makeup, no matter how simple, will always look nice. So I like to do that. But like I said, you'll notice there's some things I just don't do because I don't have time for it. I know, like I mentioned to you about being hair lazy, when I was much younger, I used to do my own box braids. I used to corn roll my hair, you know, and do an awful lot with my hair because I was young. I had time and had the energy. Now, I really don't. Even with twisting my hair now, oh my goodness. That's like an all-day thing on Sunday because I have to fight for about an hour to make myself get up and do it. And then when I finally do it, I'm like, oh, my goodness, what did I do? And then I have to complete. Well, it's a, it's, a vicious, it's a vicious cycle, but I get through it. So, like I mentioned, this is just a video of something different, not really talking about my application but I really do like makeup and I really enjoy being in front of the camera and talking to you guys so that's what I decided to do in this video right here yeah and when it comes to contouring I don't do a lot of that it depends on how I'm feeling for that particular day what I'm wearing and where I'm going I may do a little bit on one day not enough on another day but like i mentioned to you there are a lot of things that i just <laughs> don't do but when i feel like it i will so that may be older lady problems I don't know. and the one thing i'll say too when it comes to blush when i apply blush it always looks as if i apply so much but then when i get on camera it's never enough but that's okay because again i really for myself i really like a more natural look i don't really want to look too made up of course you're going to know i have a makeup but i don't want to look too made up i just want to look like i pulled myself together to look the best that i could or can for that day and again just having fun i love these colors I love the choices that we have with makeup. When I was young, for black women, we just had, I'm going to call it mahogany. Because if you're my age, you pretty much know that every lip line company or makeup company, I should say, had a color mahogany or black cherry. And it was always the same type of color. Maybe a little lighter than one, a little darker than another. But it was always called mahogany or black cherry. Now we have pink sky, violetta. Rebel, we have so many different choices now, so I love it. But I really, really just wanted to put something really bright on my lips, something to wake up my face, something that would be really, really noticeable for today. Yes, that's really what I wanted. Keep my makeup simple and just put something really, really pretty on my lips. And that's exactly what I did. And I think this is a nice, simple, everyday spring look. Not overbearing. You can throw on, especially in the summertime, you can throw on a pretty maxi dress, keep your hair simple, and keep it moving. Yeah. And then put your weaves on, <laughs> which I usually wear because. I do not care for highlighting and orange corrector all the time. Like I said, I keep it simple. So I want to thank you guys for watching my video. I so look forward to seeing you in the next one. And you know there's nothing I want you to do more than share and spread love. And again, I want to thank you guys for watching.